So we've got this exciting application here. We've even got it synced with GitHub. But what good is this going to do our potential employers just to read our code? I mean, it's going to do them a little good. But wouldn't it be cool if they could actually run the app and have it work without having to clone it? That cloning bit, that's, such, that's so much work. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just actually host this somewhere? We can. In fact, we can host it right on GitHub. That's right. There's free hosting on GitHub. As long as your repo is open source. It's called GitHub Pages, pages.github.com. Websites for you and your projects. Hosted directly from your GitHub repository. Just edit, push, and your changes are live. Cool. You can read all about it on pages.github.com if you're so inclined. But it's super, super easy. So check it out. Do it with me. Go to your repository for Christmas. You there? Who needs more time? All right. Go to settings, right up here, the little cog. Settings on your repository. Scroll down a bit until you find GitHub Pages. Notice the source right now is none. GitHub Pages is currently disabled. Select the source below to enable GitHub Pages for this repository. I'm going to choose my master branch. Cool. Save. Now GitHub Pages is turned on. So let's scroll down. There it is. Your site is ready to be published at this URL. Let's see if it's live. Let's click it. I'm going to do, do a command click here to open it in the new tab. <coughs> Not there quite yet. Give it a sec. So you know how we named uh, our file index.html? As long as you did name yours index.html and you didn't capitalize index, um, the way most web servers are configured, including GitHub pages, is that if you browse to a directory and you look for index.h and you have an index.html in there, it'll just use that when you browse to the directory. You don't have to include index.html in the URL. It'll just use that file by default. So we're taking advantage of that. Let's see if it's live yet. <laughs> Hey, there it is on the actual World Wide Web. So if you've got it, go ahead and copy that URL. And don't forget to do this part, please. Copy that URL. Go back to your repository. Hit the Edit button where we put in the description on the first day. Edit. And notice there's another field there, Website. Paste that right in there. Hit Save. And now anyone who visits your repository can just click that link and actually see your code running. So now we've got it hosted on the real web, and we got a handy link there for it, which is going to make it really easy if someone is, for example, going to look at your work tomorrow, uh, which someone is. I'm making her do it. Ha <laughs> ha! But she's going to look at your stuff tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot easier for her if she doesn't have to clone your work to see if it works. Because a lot of times we're looking through what we're going to do. Let's just talk about how we, how we grade your homework. We look through the commits. That's what we do. We say, OK, did they do Monday's work? Update the heading with text from the form. OK, that was part of the homework. It looks like they did it. Let's have a look here. OK, yeah, yeah, that's a totally reasonable way to do that thing. Cool. Uh, let's just let them know it's all good. Let's give them a little thumbs up here in a comment. So we're going to do that. We're going to put comments on your GitHub commits. And then when you look at your list of commits, you'll probably get a notification about that. You may get an email, or it may just show up under this little bell. But hopefully it tells you. But some people seem to have their settings such that it doesn't. Um, if it doesn't, go out to your project and look at your list of commits. And you'll see a little comment next to some of them. And you know, it may be as simple as thumbs up. You know, if, you're, if you're doing fine, That'll probably be a thumbs up or a nice work or, or something like that, or a good job on the homework or something like that. Um, if you see suggestions, you know, 
that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not doing a good job. Um, depending on the suggestion, you know, in, in fact, might mean um, you know, that, that you're, you seem to be far ahead, and this might be an extra tip that you, might, that you might be interested in. Like, hey, did you know you could do this thing this way too? Or whatever. Maybe there'll be some like that. Maybe there won't. Don't let it hurt your feelings if that's not there. So we'll, we'll either leave comments on your GitHub or we'll reach out to you on Slack. And um, like if it looks like you're maybe a, a few days behind and, and, but we haven't seen you over there, then we might ask, hey, what's up? Don't be afraid to ask for help, that kind of thing. But that's probably the kind of stuff you'll see. So please, definitely publish it on GitHub pages. Put the link in there. Makes it a little easier. Because sometimes we'll look at the code and be like, does this... Is this working or is it not? And we'll click it and see if it actually works. Because, you know, we might be surprised. Maybe something we didn't think works works. Questions about any of that? So GitHub pages, pretty doggone handy. And yes, you can even host GitHub pages on your own domain. You didn't notice this is actually uh, bootcamp18s3.fretless.com instead of github.io for me. <laughs> 